today's video i'm going to show you how to play eFootball or let's say enjoy eFootball mobile 2024 with a gamepad previously in android 11 and below we use octopus which is a perfect mapping app because it has it has all the functionalities octopus yeah this is the app this this is the app we use to enjoy eFootball mobile 2024 and previous eFootball versions with gamepad but unfortunately this app doesn't support android 12 to android 14 so even if you install it on your device it cannot play eFootball mobile 2023 it can run some few games but not eFootball and that's a problem because we want to use it to play eFootball Mobile 2020-2024. Now, in today's video, I want to show you another app which has all the functionalities of Octopus. It has all the functionalities of Octopus. Allow. Use this folder but it's not octopus but it has all the functionalities of octopus and that is none other app than Manti, you know, panda gamepad pro so in today's video i'm going to show you the activation process of panda gamepad pro which is just two clicks uh, you're going to find it very easy to, uh, to activate the app and enjoy all the functionalities that octopus provide android 11 and below because uh, in my previous video I introduced Shooting Plus V3 which to me doesn't have all the functionalities and require you to buy an, an, a, a compatible gamepad but in this video you're going to use any gamepad you have you don't need to buy any specific gamepad to enjoy eFootball Mobile 2023 any gamepad you have is going to work with Panda Gamepad Pro just like they work with octopus gamepad pro so stick around and flow with the right still is taking forever but in the end it's not gonna work so i don't even know why i'm wasting my time so skip I'm trying to launch it for now you see it skip it's not gonna work so because Android to a, a Google remove the ability for apps to map gamepad from Android 12 and above. So apps that manage to do it are not perfect, but we've been able to find a perfect app. So go to Play Store and tap Panda Gamepad Pro. You're gonna pay for it. I've already paid for it. That's why mine is not showing the payment option. Even if I uninstall it now. You see it will tell me to install without paying but if you open your own on play store you're gonna pay for it unfortunately i'm not the developer it's a price you have to pay to use gamepad so let's install it now after you install it download b u r o g e a bojega maybe i'm not getting the spelling correctly B U G G E A, yeah, Bojiga, yeah, Bojiga Mobile ADB to USB. Make sure you install this version, don't install any other version. I think there is another one. I think there is another one. Let me click on the developer's name. You will see that he has another Bojiga app. Yes, the other budget guy. Don't, don't install this budget guy premium. It's not gonna work. This one, it's not gonna work. Stick to the free version, which is this one we have installed. Babe, help me, Abel. Noise, which is this one we've installed. So, uh, when when you're done with this. You've installed Panda Gamepad Pro, you've installed Bajiga. Let's go straight to the activation process. Now, people that watch my videos say I talk too much in my videos, so 
I try to break everything down so you understand, but people say I take a lot of time, I talk too much, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking. I'm just going to go straight to the point. If you understand it, fine. If you don't understand it, rewatch the video over and over again till you understand it. So the first thing you want to do, let's bring the Panda to the page we can see it. Panda Game Pan Pro. Now, if you launch Panda, like Autopus is going to automatically add your eFootball app. But you see, need activation, no device connected. So let's fix the connection. Let's connect our controller. Um, power it on. Yeah. Wireless controller connected. So let's go back to Panda. Wireless controller connected. So we're taking care of the connection problem. Now let's take care of the activation problem. We're not going to do anything here. That's why I told you to download that app. So what you're going to do, click on settings on your device, go to developer options, scroll right down to wireless debugging. Launch it, but don't don't, don't turn it on, just launch it, leave it, go back. Now launch your budget guard. This is your budget guard. This is your budget guard app. Launch it. Let me let me clear up this budget guard because I already pre-used it. So let me let me turn it to default settings. Clear completely. Okay. So let's launch the budget guard. This is a fresh app, agree. This is how your own is going to happen, so you can see all the tools here. So now, what you do, click on this plus icon here, this one, click on it. Now, the script, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to paste this in the video description. In the first comment of this video, I'm going to post this so I can select all, copy, close it, go back to Bojega. So, the I'm gonna post this 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 script. I'm gonna post it in the comment, the first comment I do. So title the script Panda Panda Gamepad Pro Activation Act or oh. so since activation will not enter, just leave it at Panda Gamepad Pro. We know what we want there. Next, Panda Game Pro Products title, then paste the script and click done. Then, now this now. Yeah, click done. Now press save. So it's going to be at the bottom. Bottom, this is it. We can edit it. You can see our script. Everything says I Panda Gamepad Pro. This is the script. Press cancel. But we don't want to change it. So it's at the bottom. Bottom. So always note when you just scroll down to the bottom. Bottom. That's it. I know why. So after having that already, now let's move to the next step. Click on your recent app button. Now click on uh, the budget guard and click on split view. Now extend it a little. We need this screen. We need the other screen to be a little bit smaller. So now that you have done this, click on this plug, uh, this fuse icon here. This you seen it like uh, a charger um, plug-in touch it it's going to bring this menu now click on the settings here now power on the wireless debugging allow it's going to auto pick your ip and port so that's why i said launch the launch the options here let's cancel let's start again off wireless debugging make sure you you activate make sure you do this one before your wireless debug site we are about to pick your IP and port. So let's do it again. Now let's on wireless debugging. Any 
the the IP is gonna remain the same, but the port will keep changing. But the method to get it without typing is launch the Bojica first, then on your wireless bucket, it will auto pick everything. So now click on pair this, click on pair. The IP is gonna remain the same, but let's see the port that is gonna come. So scroll down to pair device with pairing code, click on it. Now the port is 42995. It's auto pick the port. Again, you don't need to type now. The only thing you need to type right now is the pairing code, which is 914525. 914525. This is a one-time thing. You're not gonna be doing this over and over again. It's just the first time. So 914525. Once you've done that. Expand again to your SQL. So pair with no. I've messed this up. You'll never guess what we're doing to the baconator. We're putting it on you. Close it. Of the wireless debugging again. At this point, I'm going to remove the phone from landscape mode because I did it. I put it in landscape mode so I can I can show you guys what I want to show you guys. So so I'm going to take the phone from landscape mode and let's do this again. So settings, go to developer options, scroll down to wireless debugging. Note you must be connected to a Wi-Fi, please. I forgot to mention that you must be connected to a Wi-Fi. So now open your Bojega. You've already we're already done with and adding the script. We're not gonna do that again. Now click on your recent, click on Bojega and split view. Now reduce the other one to be so small because we need space for the budget guy to run. Now, after you split, you select the settings. Wireless debugging is the last thing we did there. Like I said, click on this first. It's gonna bring everything here. The power is on. The port is definitely gonna change. Yeah, it did. So it will. Let's remove this. Yeah. Now, like I said, click on pair. After I click on pair, scroll down to pair with pairing code. Select it. It's going to want to pick the port. Now you type in the code, pairing code yourself. So this 487873. 48, 487873. I hope I am correct. 487873. Once you've done that, click on pair. Successfully paired to. So what how you know it's successfully paired? You see this. This is this. This is it. This U00 at host. So this is all you need. Now now that we've gotten this, don't do this process ever again. So, once you've gotten this, I'm going to use this to uh, explain two things. Once you've gotten that, let's assume you just turned, up, turned on your phone. You've activated before, but you just, for some reason, you have to restart your phone. Your panda is no longer activated. So, I'm, this, is, this is why I said this is a two-way tutorial. I'm not going to be able to off my phone and continue this tutorial, so I will I'd rather just explain it before I activate. So let's assume the process we did now, we actually went through with the activation. And for some reason, you have to restart your phone. We're going to do the process again, but the good thing is you're not going to do everything again. All you need to do is, let's say you just off on, you just powered on your phone. You've lost activation. All you need to do is, 
click on settings go to developer options make sure you are connected to wi-fi before you start now scroll down to wireless debugging touch it to open but don't power don't 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 activate it yet now go back to your screen select budget gap i hate this ads man close it open the budget gap again it will just see ads now select recent click on split and split the view you don't even need to resize the screen no more because we're not going to do that process again that tedious process we're already done with it so click on this again this thing i look like plug click on it it's going to bring out this now open your select your wireless debugging at the bottom activate it the port is definitely going to turn yeah it did it's all you need to do now scroll down and watch this stuff watch it just look at just keep looking at it just scroll down and look at it so all you do just click connect and you're going to see currently connected currently connected. every time you restart your phone this is all you need to do you don't need to start the whole pairing process so, so that's why i say it's just two click once you see currently connected expand your screen to now scroll down to the last now click play on this panda click play it's going to show 31 first then it's going to fail yeah it's going to write fail this that that fail not found but it worked that's it that's all you need to do just go back open panda and voila activated two clicks open your budget gap, split view open developer option on the other screen on your budget gap first then on wireless debugging it will also pick the ip and port click connect you will see currently connected there in debugging wireless debugging you will see currently connected once you see currently connected expand your screen you come here scroll down to panda gatepad and click play bam then plug and play two clicks and your panda is activated that's it so now that we are done with the tedious activation process we have conquered the activation let's go back to configuration so let me put it back in portrait mode yeah portrait mode and now launch your football enable display over that app make sure you activate all this go back turn on battery acceleration allow to, to turn it off and voila your football will launch so let's close all this close 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 so it's exactly like octopus this is octopus when you click on this everything you have here is what octopus has everything so we are not missing nothing gotta reduce our volume okay so launch our football to volume all the way down we don't really need it launch your football migrate your accounts i don't need to tell you how to migrate your account you don't need to migrate your account because you are using the if you already installed on your device so you don't need to migrate no account uh go to extras go to game settings click on play settings direction stick type change it to fixed click done the different control type leave it on standard account we want to have both mashup and normal pressure we want to have both but don't use pressure style use standard standard is going to give you both mashup and pressure uh, both say configuration leave the attack the way it is go to defending switch mashup to the position of switch move it to mashup and move mashup to the position of switch. so move this here and um, let's let's swap these two so you got to click on one of them mashup who do we want to switch it with so let's switch and click done so now mashup is at the bottom switch is at the top oh my god mashup is at the bottom switch is at the top that's it oh shit babe so 
when you are done now go back go back go back now click on training select authentic team select free training select attacking practice and let's start our configuration we need the key for pass so click on that click on this this let me remove this the panda icon let me make it bold so this is the panda icon just touch it click on this little plus icons select key now we need something for our pass move it down click on it click put your pass key any key you want to use for pass and put it on top of pass click on the plus icon again select key i like to duplicate it because since we have mashup and pressure another one another pass then move put it on top of dash because that's where pressure is going to be when you are playing the game mashup is going to be on top of pass pressure is going to be on top of uh, run or dash so we are done with that now i want true pass click on the plus icon select key move it down put the key you want to use for true pass i can't tell you which key you want to use this is my own way of configuring it true pass click on plus icon we need air uh, to switch second player so l1 move it put it there all right now let's configure our direction it's already here click on left joystick click on the setting icon on it make sure it's on hold resize reduce it a little then move it to position let's put our right analog the uses of right analog when you flip it up you can use it to take your corner keys click on setting icon then put it on hold resizes to the smallest and put it on top of your pass when you flip it down and hold it's going to charge your keeper forward in case there is a one-to-one -one situation and when you flip it up it's going to help you take your corner kicks now our shooting so let's swipe but you're not going to swipe just look for try and make an, an arrow like that then keep it at 0.9 seconds put your shoot key there and put it let's our arrow to shot swipe swipe down leave it at 0 0.18 seconds press ok then the combination i'm going to use for arrow 2 my own combination is l2 plus shoot you can use your own combination that works for you now let's put our stunning shot we're going to swipe from our right hand to our left hand side so two like this is for stunning shot 0.18 seconds okay for my stunning shot i'm going to use arrow one plus shoot that's the combination i want to use for stunning shot you can use your combination that works for you this is what i want to use this is what i'm confident comfortable using let's put our sprint key key bring it down put arrow one on it and move it into position now stunning cross and heading click on the plus icon click on swipe swipe from left to right again 0 0.17 seconds is good now i'm going to use r1 plus key b for my stunning crossing and put it here regular cross and head select so swipe swipe up 0 0.18 seconds then put your regular cross key there which is key b and move it into position i think we've captured everything so let's test pass pass true pass now take a regular shot yeah that's too much it shot power is too much let's try the shooting again if it goes down we go way higher like that we're gonna reconfigure it okay 
is good enough. Let's try the shooting again one more time. Shoot regular shot. Yeah, it's okay. Now stunning shot. Let's try stunning shot. True pass. Stunning shot. Yeah. Now let's try arrow two shot. Let's drip to the side and cut from the side. Okay. Alright, arrow two shot. Yeah, perfect. Now let's pass and move is easy to do, just pass and flick. Cross from the side. Okay, stunning cross. Oh shit. That's the cross in the water as, as, as I expected. Pass back to him. Oh, shit. I'm taking it with the right analog. Pass back to the side. Now stony crossing. Stony crossing is not working as I want it to work. Or less. Let's attend to it. Uh, let me let me swipe the other way. About one nine second. R one plus key B is another key. So let's try the tonic cross again. R1 plus cross. All right. Perfect. All right. So swipe in the opposite direction. Swipe from your left to your right. That's what works. Now let's try regular crossing. I, I'm using my right analog to take all these corner kicks. Now regular crossing. Yeah, regular crossing work. Okay. I think our shoot is our shoot is is too powerful. This. Let's reduce the figure. 1.018 is okay. Move everything back. You can tweak it till you are satisfied. Mm -hmm. I use my right analog to take on a kicks. Shoot. Alright. Shoot is behaving well now. What have we not tried? I think we've tried everything so far. Stony shot again. Yeah. Let's try regular shot one last time and arrow to shot and let's let's end this video. Okay, regular shot. Yeah, that's powerful enough. Now one last arrow to shot and let's go. Pass and move, you pass and you flick. Arrow to shot. Yeah, that's good. One last arrow to shot. I really wanted to curve. to shot yeah okay so thank you so much for watching this video it's been a pleasure showing you how these things are done stay tuned for more videos and yeah peace out yeah i forgot to show you how to fade off everything where you're done so you're done you are satisfied with the configuration click on the panda icon click on this setting icon here take the opacity to zero and that's it now they are faded off. Let's also remove the if we bought buttons from our screen. Go to button opacity, take it to the lowest, which is 20, and that's it. So now when you play with nothing is interfering, nothing is blocking your screen. You cannot do as much anything you want without it for interference. Thank you once again for watching this video. Catch you in another video really soon. And yeah, peace out once again.